So what's your purpose in life? Why are you here? It's a great question to ask, no? You're here to be happy. You're here to succeed, depending on your definition of what is success. And you're here to elevate your consciousness, to evolve. And in order to create your best life, you need to master your two tools, the two fundamentals of life. The first one is gratitude, and the other one is the art of letting go. And today's episode in the Oz podcast, we're going to discuss about these two extraordinary tools. Uzzoglami with you, and let's begin. You always hear the word gratitude. Everybody talks about gratitude and how important to implement gratitude into your life, into your daily habits. Actually, for me, gratitude is not a habit. Gratitude is life. You can never taste life. You can never be happy. You can never reach your goals if you're not grateful. Well, you can reach your goals, but you will never taste the emotions behind your goals. You will never be able to enjoy reaching your goals. You will never be able to feel the victories in your life, to taste life, because life is about gratitude. And gratitude is a very powerful tool to reprogram your mind, to shift your focus. Gratitude is a very powerful tool to come back to this present moment and to enjoy life the way it is to enjoy your past victories and to enjoy what you're doing right now, to enjoy your relationships, to enjoy the things that you have attracted till now, to enjoy your achievements, to enjoy who you truly are, enjoy your body, to enjoy yourself, to really connect with yourself, to connect with that present moment. So in order to connect with your breathing, to connect with this present moment, you gotta become a master at gratitude. Because gratitude is a tool to attract your best life and a tool to taste your best life. Last time we spoke about the power of emotions and how the language of your brain, the language of your subconscious mind is emotions. Gratitude allows you to tap into those beautiful emotions, these high state emotions, these emotions that vibrate at a certain frequency, at a high frequency. And when you connect to those emotions, you're going to attract more of the things that you're grateful for. So when you say, I'm grateful for this job that I just had, and you take the time to feel that emotion of peace, that emotion of happiness, that emotion of, oh my God, I'm so grateful. What's going to happen here is that you're going to shift the vibrational state of your body, of that energy surrounding your body, and you're going to attract similar things into your life. That's the power of gratitude. Gratitude allows you to reprogram your mind, allows you to shift your focus, and allows you to enjoy life. So when we say, while you're obtaining your goals, you got to enjoy the process, what do we mean? You got to learn how to be grateful. And how to do that? Before going to sleep, write things that you're grateful for. When you wake up in the morning, write things that you're grateful for. Reward yourself internally the way you talk to yourself. When we hear the word reward yourself, is to be grateful toward yourself, is to be grateful toward certain situations, even being grateful toward difficult situations. Because while being grateful for difficult situations, you're inviting your mind to find solutions. You're inviting your mind to look for opportunities. You're inviting your mind to fix the situation, to turn things to your advantage, to connect, to evolve, to grow, to be your best version. And your best version is a version that is grateful. So this is the power of gratitude. It allows you to reprogram your mind, to attract your best life, to connect with your best version, and to find solutions. So gratitude is the gift that you have in this life. Your ability to appreciate what you have, to appreciate the process, and to appreciate your past. 
and one of the most powerful gratitudes is past gratitudes. I am grateful for my past traumas. I am grateful for the things that I went through in the past. I am grateful for my parents. I'm grateful for these difficult situations. Why? Because they have allowed me to evolve. They taught me more about myself. I connected more deeply with myself. They have allowed me to meet certain people. You see, what gratitude does, it allows you to turn everything that happened, that for your mind is negative or for your mind is traumatic, and turn it to your advantage. And while doing that, you're allowing yourself to heal. What's healing? Healing is about being able to be grateful toward difficult situations that you went through. Something that has traumatized you. So it's a very strong emotion. It's a very intense emotion. And with gratitude, you have turned these emotions to your advantage. Look at anybody who have healed from difficult situations, from traumas. So when we look at the process of healing, when the person hasn't healed yet, they're not grateful. They aren't able to appreciate things in their lives, appreciate what they went through. They look at the situations in the worst way possible. That's why they're suffering. So we take that same person and we look at that person at the end of the process. We can say this person has healed from that traumatic experience or from their past or from that fear of abandonment or the fear of rejection. You're going to see that that person will say, I am grateful for my dad, my mom, for what happened. So in order for us to explain healing, we look at gratitude. When the person is grateful, it means that the person has healed from what happened. That's how powerful gratitude is. It tells us so much about our growth, about our evolution. And people who are not growing, who are not evolving, they're people who are not grateful. They're not able to appreciate those little things. They aren't able to see the good in their lives. When they look at themselves in the mirror, they're not grateful. They take themselves for granted. And the source of happiness is when you take yourself for granted. You have spent so much time with yourself that you don't appreciate yourself anymore. You focus with your weaknesses. You have forgotten your strengths. You have forgotten who you truly are. You have disconnected with yourself. You look at your past and you define your past like the worst thing that have ever happened to you. You can't appreciate this growth, this evolution, this learning experience. You're stuck when you're not grateful. And to unstuck yourself, you got to teach yourself to be grateful. Every human on planet Earth is expert at gratitude. Everybody. But some have forgotten how to be grateful. So here your goal is to teach yourself to reconnect with your soul because your soul is filled with gratitude and you got to fill yourself with gratitude also. You got to learn to appreciate the little things. You got to learn to look at the good things and make them bigger. And the things that you see them as negative or bad, make them smaller and look at the good. Look at the opportunities that will come from them. That's gratitude. You got to teach yourself. It's a learning experience. And it starts with writing down the things that you're grateful for every morning, writing down the things that you're grateful for every night, and even during the day. Stop time and say, oh my God, I'm so proud of myself. I'm so grateful for this situation. I'm so grateful for this person. I'm so grateful for my cat, for my dog. And don't just say it, be it. Because when you're grateful, you have succeeded. When you're grateful, you are connected. When you're grateful, you're going to open your mind for opportunities. You're going to even secure your mind. Bring safety to your nervous system. Allow yourself to build healthier relationships. Allow you to be more courageous toward the future. Because you won't see the future as a threat. You're going to see the future as an opportunity. That's what gratitude does. 
And another gratitude is the gratitude in the present moment. It's one of the most powerful gratitudes. So the first one is the past gratitude. There is the present gratitude. It's about you being present. You're here. Acknowledge that. Be grateful for this present moment, for the here, for the now, for your eyes, for your body, for your fingers, your hands. Be grateful for the air that comes in and the air that goes out. Take the time to connect with this present moment. Maybe look around you. Look at what you see and be grateful for what you have. Be grateful for your couch, for your TV. Be grateful for the camera. Be grateful for everything that is surrounding you. And this is practice. It's all about practice. You got to teach your mind to do this. It's a lesson that you're going to give to yourself. It's a gift that actually you're going to give yourself. It's a skill. It's a skill of life. If life is a body, gratitude is the heart. <laughs> so in order to connect with the gratitude of the present moment, start by connecting with your breath. And that breath will connect you with your higher self. And while you're grateful in this present moment, you're going to start connecting to the here and now. Because the future doesn't exist yet. The past has stopped existing. What exists is now, is you, is this present moment. And when you say, I am alive, meaning that you are in the here and now, you're not stuck in the future and you're not stuck in the past. You are present, you are alive. So since the day you are born till today, how many hours have you been alive, truly alive? Truly present, truly here, truly grateful. For many people, they spend most of their time on social medias, creating content for social medias, thinking about the future, thinking about the unknown, and thinking about the past. They're stuck into other dimensions. They're not present. The only time that you can create your best reality is when you are present, when you are able to be grateful for the here and now, when you're truly connected with your daughter, your son, your wife, your husband, your family, your friends, you're truly there with them. You're truly there with yourself. That's the power of the present moment and that's the power of gratitude within the present moment. And then there is this future gratitude. Future gratitude is very powerful. Things that you want, be grateful for them before even having them. And this is the most powerful tool of attraction. Be grateful for things before getting them. And you're going to manifest them and you're going to move toward these things in your life. I am grateful for my bestseller book. I am grateful for this conference that I did in front of 10,000 people. You see, things that didn't happen yet. Be grateful in the present moment for these future things. That's so powerful. That's going to allow you to take your attraction game to a whole different level. And when we talk about gratitude, the friend of gratitude is the art of letting go. Instead of you giving the control to society, giving the control to your past, giving the control to everybody around you, giving the control to your emotions, to your thoughts, to your ego, letting go is about claiming that control back. It's about letting go. These things are not mine. They don't belong to me. And when you're able to reconnect with that present moment, you're going to be able to let go of many things that have happened in the past, things that didn't happen yet, things that you're worrying about. These things don't belong to you, so let go of them. So in order to master the art of letting go, you need to master the art of the present moment, 
but also you need to master the art of breathing. Letting go is linked to breath. Because when you're breathing, and when you're aware of your breathing, you are connected to the present moment. And when you're in the present, you're disconnected from the future, and you're disconnected from the past, and you're disconnected from your thoughts. And when you're disconnected from all of these things, you are letting go. But what brings up these files that prevent you from letting go? Your thoughts. You think about it. You stress about it. You doubt. You hesitate. But again, as soon as these thoughts come, come back to your breathing. It doesn't belong to me. Or I don't care. It's not mine. It's not my responsibility. I'm responsible for myself within this present moment. The rest doesn't belong to me. And when you have this awareness of it doesn't belong to me, that's when you can truly connect. You can truly let go. You can truly surrender. Because again, there is the breathing, there is the present moment, the awareness of the present moment, the awareness of the breathing, but there is also letting go from all tensions in your body. Because these emotions that have accumulated, they accumulate in your body. They are imprinted in your body. So letting go is letting go of all the tensions. I let go of all these things that are holding me back, pushing me down, making my shoulders feeling that heaviness over my shoulders. So while you're breathing, you got to liberate all this tension from your body. You got to learn to relax your body. And that's where meditation comes in. Meditation allows you to relax your body, to surrender, to let go. And with every exhale, you release all the tension. With every exhale, you release all these emotions, you're letting out, you're letting go. And how to know that you're letting go is that you feel safe. Your body feels safe. Your body feels relaxed. You feel great in your body. You feel light. The lighter you feel and the more you're mastering the art of letting go. This art of I don't have control of society. I don't have control over my past. I don't have control over others. I don't have control over uh, these friends. I don't have control over my kids. I don't have control over my job. That's not mine. I don't have control over these things. What I can control is myself and my perception of these things. And I decide right now to trust myself, to connect with myself, and to let go of all the doubt, all the tension. I will do the best. I will do the best that I can with what I have. And if I make a mistake, it's not a mistake. It's a learning experience. Meaning that I had to make that mistake in order for me to grow, in order for me to discover new things, to learn new things, to see new opportunities. You see, letting go is about also raising your awareness of I don't have control over these things. I surrender. And when you do that, you bring all the control to yourself. I have control over the way I see things, my thoughts. I have control over the emotions that I want to play, the emotions that I want to feed. And I have control over my body that I decide to relax. What's happening here is that you become a creator of your life because you create from that inner control that you claimed back. Now you're not a victim from others. You're not a victim from situations. You're not a victim of your past. You're a creator. You're not reacting to things. You're creating things. Everything comes from you. That's the power of letting go. I let go so I can create. I release so I can make things happen. And in order for you to make things happen, you need to be aligned with yourself. We call this being a conscious creator. 
of your own reality. So when you detach from that reality, you become the observer of that reality and instantly you're going to have more clarity toward what actions to take. Where should I go from here? Your mind will see things clearly. And that's why you see a lot of people who are so identified with this reality. They have given, they have given these inner tools, their control to everybody else besides themselves. So they work hard. They do things. They force things. And they advance slowly. They take so many actions just to get this much done. While conscious creators, they're so detached, they're so connected to themselves, they're in control of their inner tools, they have surrendered the rest. The rest doesn't belong to them. These people are master observers, and with one action, they have this much results. They know what to do next, where to go from there. These are the conscious creators, people who have mastered the art of gratitude and letting go, reclaiming that control, reclaiming their inner powers. They're reconnecting with their feminine energy. When you say feminine energy, you say time and space. Creating time for yourself to let go and creating space so you can create your best reality. But when there is no space, when you don't create time, you won't create. You're going to be a victim of other people's creation. You're going to be a victim of society's creation. You're just reacting. You're just allowing things to happen and you're just following. You're not connected with yourself. You're not connected to your own energy. You have given your vital energy to others. Now the goal is to bring it back to yourself is to bring that control back to yourself. And again, letting go is about the present moment. So when you're present in the here and now, your mind enters into creation mode. What does it mean? You can stop any behavior that you want to stop. You can stop any thought that you want to stop. Anything that is holding you back, you can stop it because you're present. The only time that you can reprogram your mind is within the present moment. If you're stuck in the future and stuck in the past, you're on automatic pilot. You're just playing things coming from your past, playing a program. But when you're in the present moment, you're able to press pause and to press play on behaviors that you want to display, on things that you want to do, on thoughts that you want to implement. That's why when you create the time and space, you create that energy, you nourish that energy, you make it bigger, you make it stronger, and you become a creator of your own life. So you need to nourish that feminine energy, you need to make it bigger, stronger, create the time, create the space, take the time to breathe, take the time to relax your body, take the time to connect with your breathing, take the time to be grateful for just existing. <laughs> Start looking at the things that you want to have in your life and the things that you had in your life and start being grateful for these things. All of this mixed together will make you a very powerful force because you have connected with your two most powerful tools, the tools of creation, because you're creating with gratitude and the power of letting go. But what if you find yourself always Imagining the worst case scenarios. Imagine if this happens. Imagine, imagine, imagine. You're training your mind to create the worst case scenarios. Because your mind is trained through that imagination. A misused imagination. And you find yourself playing, creating a reality that you're scared to attract. So you're attracting out of fear. You're attracting out of worry, out of doubt. And you find yourself scared, lack of clarity, and attracting that same life that you don't want to attract. So instead of looking at that negative part of it, I want you to start looking at that positive part of it. What do I want? What can I be grateful for? What's exciting about this? 
What are things that I'm passionate about? And start playing those scenarios. When you're connected to that present moment, you can sometimes play scenarios of things that you want to see, you want to see happening, you want to manifest, things you want to attract into your life. So instead of looking at what you don't want, look at what you want. Because in both cases, you're going to attract both. So letting go is about deciding the reality that you want to live and how you want to live it. And gratitude is about appreciating that reality. And the more that you appreciate it, and the more that you're training your mind to attract more of it. It's like a dog. You know, the brain is like a dog. You say, sit. And when it sits, you give a snack to the dog. A snack is to say, good job. It's to condition the dog that next time you're going to say, sit, it's going to sit. You're reinforcing a behavior. So the same thing happened with the mind. Gratitude is reinforcing the behavior of your mind. When the mind does something good, you say, oh my God, I'm so grateful for this. I'm so proud of you. Oh, wow. Life is beautiful. Life is great. Look at these small things that I'm receiving. You're exciting your mind for the future. So the mind is like, oh my God, I want more of this then. I'm going to attract more of this then. You see, you're rewiring your mind through that ability to be grateful within the present moment. But many people, they're not aware. They're not aware of that present moment. They're not aware of the things they're attracting. Just today, look at the beautiful things that came to you in your life. Just today. Did you appreciate them? Did you stop and just took a deep breath and smiled and say, oh my God, I'm so happy. I'm so grateful for this. Once I saw a documentary in this Asian town, a small town, where they live a very simple life, almost poor. And they're described as the happiest people on earth. How so? Well, when you look at them, they're just in their plantations, they're working. And as soon as there is like this wind, and as soon as there is wind coming in, they all stand up, look in the direction of the wind, and just feel it, breathe it, and appreciating that present moment. What makes them happy? It's appreciating the present moment. Appreciate the sun, appreciate the sky, appreciate your body, appreciate your health, appreciate your parents, appreciate people that you have in your life, appreciate the materials, the things that you could buy, appreciate your job, and not just say, I appreciate it. No, no, no. Do the work. Feel it. Become it. Make it part of you. So here, let's come back to letting go. Letting go is creating space. What do we do with that space? We create our reality. Forcing things to happen will close the space. You see? You, you will create a certain reality when you force things to happen. I'm not saying you're not going to succeed or whatever, but it's going to take more time. But taking conscious actions and letting go from the results, letting go from expectations, letting go completely, you receive the results with open arms, you learn from the results, you modify your actions and you keep taking actions. And then you create the space and then you accept the results and you keep taking actions. This is the best way to get what you want as quick as possible. Is your ability to accept and to detach, to let go from all results, to disconnect from it. And when you do that, you're going to open space. You won't be affected by the results. You won't even judge results as positive or negative. You see everything as positive. Every result is positive because some people will see it as a failure. I want you to see it as an opportunity, but you won't be able to see it as an opportunity if you're not able to let go in the first place. You gotta let go. I don't care about the result. What's important is the actions that I take, but I care about what I'm gonna learn from the result. I'm not going to let go of that. I'm going to learn from it. I'm going to take that learning experience with me and I'm going to change my actions, improve them so I can get better results later on. 
So results are keys that's gonna help you to succeed. But in order for you to appreciate the learning, you gotta open space. And you open space through letting go. I detach myself. I detach myself from this role. My soul will use my body, my mind, and my heart to live a certain reality, to attract certain things. And whatever happens in that physical reality won't affect my soul. My soul is at peace, is filled with love, with wisdom, with gratitude, and is connected to the present moment. And I always take actions and I come back to my soul. I let go even more and I keep going. I keep advancing. So letting go and gratitude, they are tools. They are fundamentals of life, of how to live life, your philosophy of life. And you need to start applying them today. You need to implement them in your daily habits. You need to start creating space, creating time to nourish your feminine energy. Take the time to do nothing. When you do nothing, you will do everything. Through doing nothing, everything will become possible. So appreciate that present moment. Appreciate yourself. Appreciate your ability to be grateful for the little things. And you're going to see your reality will become extraordinary. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead. Start practicing gratitude today. Buy a journal. Don't do it on your phone. I want you to write it down and start being grateful. Three things you're grateful for every night. Three things that you're grateful for every morning. Start your day strong and finish your day stronger. And keep going. Keep reminding yourself during the day to stop breathe and to connect to that present moment and to be grateful for yourself and for those little things. And also take the time to relax your body, to let go and even say to yourself, I do not care. I let go. I exist now. Connect to your breathing. Learn letting go. It's a learning journey. So learn it. Teach your mind these valuable tools and you're going to see how things will become easier and you're going to start connecting with your best version. You're going to start connecting with the power within you. And thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Oz podcast, this episode about gratitude and letting go. And before finishing this episode, I'm going to ask you to please subscribe to my channel and to share it to as many people as possible. That's the best gift for me to encourage me and encourage the work that I'm doing with this podcast, with the conferences that I give and with the coaching that I provide to others. Thank you so much for your time. I send you a lot of love and see you soon for another episode. Have a good one.